let's open up your Xbox Series S console. Step one, flip it over. We'll be removing, normally there are two warranty stickers here, but this one's already got that removed. There's two uh, screws here. Let's remove these two screws. Slide up and pull it towards you and this comes off. In order to remove the top cover, we'll be taking out uh, all the green screws. Next step is we'll be removing these two clips here and this one slide it out like this that's our top case removed we have three boards next so that's a usb panel and that's a power panel and on this side we have this wireless rf module that we need to remove Let's start here. Take out the three screws and remove this USB panel. Slide it out. Take out this screw and take out the power board. We'll be removing the three screws and taking out this module. Flip it over. We'll be removing all the silver Torx T10 screws and four uh, black Torx screws here. Remove the four X clamp screws. One, two, three, four. Flip it over. We are now able to lift up the top panel. Let's take out the power supply. Power supply just lifts up from here. We'll be removing the fan, disconnect the fan power cable. Take out this USB panel here. We are now lift up our motherboard. Let's remove the X clamp. Flip it over. We are now able to lift up our heatsink. We did a bit of investigation, so this is what we discovered. The motherboard looks like it already has a HDMI socket installed however this is xbox series x hdmi socket these are the brand new one xbox series x it should have this xbox series s socket installed so looks like somebody already tried to repair it what we'll be doing we'll be taking out this socket and we'll be placing an original xbox series s socket back on
let's carry on with the assembly. Step one, we'll be placing the heat sink back on. Flip it over and we'll be placing the X-clamps. Just make sure they are sitting like this. We'll be placing a motherboard back in our bottom tray. The connectors go that way and slide it in. Place this USB clip back on. Place the fan, connect the fan connector. Grab your power supply unit and place it in. Let's put our top back on. Flip it over. We'll be placing the silver screws and the X-clamp screws. Place the four X-clamp screws. Flip it over. We'll be placing this USB panel first. Place the three screws. Let's place our power button back on and place it screw. Let's place our Wi-Fi Bluetooth module back on. We'll be placing our full assembly back in our top case. So the USB opening is here. And align the USB like this and place it in. Once all aligned and placed it in, double check these buttons. We'll be placing the long green screws. Let's place our back cover back on. Align it here. Lift it up. Slide it back on. Place the two screws.